In this video, we will show you the basics of using the IMAP system. After logging in and while looking at the main menu, select Edit Member Map. This will bring you to the Location Information section of IMAP. Here you will select the county and state you would like to work within, as well as the district you would like to work with. When you have done so, click Go. You will then be presented with the five remaining sections of IMAP. The Districts box, the Work in Progress box, the To Be Verified box, and the Committed box. The final section is the Map. You will use the Map section to view and manipulate your existing polygons, as well as draw new ones. The Districts box contains a complete list of all active polygons matching the county, state, and district you have selected. To find a specific polygon you would like to work with, first click the All button. This will select all polygons currently residing in the Districts box. Clicking the Go To button will center the map on all currently selected polygons. Polygons residing in the Districts box are displayed on the map in blue. It is possible to highlight all polygons residing in all four boxes simultaneously. All currently selected polygons will be displayed on the map and will be color-coded to represent in which box they reside. Again, polygons residing in the districts box will be displayed in blue. Work in progress polygons will be displayed in red. To be verified polygons will be displayed in yellow. And committed polygons will be displayed in green. You can view the record ID number of any polygon on the map by clicking on it. Let's try modifying an existing polygon. First, select the polygon you would like to modify. Then click the Go To button. This will center the polygon on the map. When you are sure you have selected the correct polygon, return to the Districts box. With the correct polygon selected, click the Modify button. The polygon in question will now be surrounded by a yellow border. Also notice the small white boxes located along the polygon's border at the corners. To modify the polygon, click and hold one of the white boxes. Drag it to the desired location and release. Continue this process until the desired shape has been achieved. When you are finished modifying your polygon, click the Done button. In order to approve any polygon transaction, you will need to be in the OCC version of the map screen. If you attempt to take an action that requires you being in the OCC view and you are not, a pop-up warning will appear and the computer will automatically switch you to the OCC view. At this point, clicking the Done button will create a transaction, which will appear in the Work in Progress box. The corresponding polygon will now appear on the map in red. The original district's polygon will remain visible in blue. The work in progress transaction will have the same record ID as the original polygon. At this point, it's important to note that the changes made to this polygon will not become active immediately. Several steps must be taken before these changes are submitted to the call center for inclusion in the database. In order for these changes to become active, the transaction that has just been created must pass through the Work in Progress and To Be Verified sections. First, return to the Work in Progress box and make sure the correct transaction has been selected. Next, click the Submit button. The transaction will move to the To Be Verified box, located just below the Work in Progress box. Consequently, the polygon will now appear in yellow on the map. Again, the To Be Verified polygon has the same record ID as the original polygon. When you have the correct transaction selected in the To Be Verified box, clicking the Approve button will submit the transaction to the call center for inclusion in the database. Once this is done, the transaction will appear in the Committed box, and the corresponding polygon will now appear on the map in green. 
Once the transaction has been completely approved, you may need to wait a few days for the changes to become active. You will receive an email when the transaction has been fully committed, and another when the changes go into effect. 